The island of Sodor is home to the North Western Railway with engines big and strong. From different railways in all different countries, there are diesel and steam engines who work the main line, branch lines and industries on the railway. There are tender engines who pull long, fast trains. Express coming through! And tank engines who are station pilots. Good morning, Edward. Morning, Jinty. All in all, the railway keeps Sodor in high active spirits, especially in the winter. One cold winter's morning, Mr. Melvin, the controller of the NWR, arrived to the steam team at Tidmouth Sheds. Good morning, engines. Good morning, Good morning sir. sir. Do you mean that the annual Sodor Christmas party at Tidmouth Station is coming up? And with that being said, we need to get ready for it. Rebecca, you'll be on express passenger duties with Pip and Emma. And Gordon, since the express is going to be very busy, you'll be back on express duties for this time only. James, I'll need you to assist Emily on the Normby branch line with the heavy goods train. And Thomas, I need you to head to the mainland and collect the Christmas tree. Oh, yes, sir. As Mr. Melvin gave out the jobs, Thomas arrived at Vickerstown Station to collect his trucks. He met Ginty and Clanline at the goods yard. Morning, you two. What is the agenda today? I'm heading to London to collect the rest of the hat family. And I've been assigned to work at Vickerstown to keep things organized while trucks and cars are coming in and out. So who's taking care of Tidmouth and Knapford? Adam and Puck. Oh. Anyways, I'm here for the, uh... The Christmas tree trucks. Neville brought that flat car with his other train from Kirk Roan. Thanks, Jinty. Ooh, the wire looks like it's going to be a snowstorm. I'm sure I'll be fine, Jinty. Besides, I remember Dustin cleared the snow from Tidmouth to here. I'm sure he will do well on the main line as well. Mm. 
No, 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 no! It needs to be higher. And King Edward, your trucks are on the track side in two. So Dustin, here's the game plan. Me and Dougie are clear the far corner points in the main line. That leaves you to clear the little western lane all the way up to Alston Castle. Um, okay. I try not to make anyone angry while you're over there. I don't want to repeat a blast team with Emily. Good point, Dougie. Alright, then. You've got the tropes. Clear the line. Meanwhile, Thomas had headed off over the Vicarstown Bridge and onto the mainland. He made it to Beresford's canal and picked up the tree. Thank you, Beresford. No problem, Thomas, my friend. Brr, the snow is getting worse. Maybe we should stop and take, go, uh, take cover. No, no, I'm sure we can make it back to Sodor. I am sorry to say that they didn't make it to Sodor at all. They had just stopped outside of Barrow when the snowstorm burst through the clouds. Thomas was put into the siding and his driver and fireman left to find a place to stay for the night without letting anyone know. What, Thomas? I was just going to ask Gordon the same thing. Don't ask me, little person. I was out on the express all day, ask Jane. Ask Emily. You ask me, you're going to be sleeping at Farquhar and be permanently banned from the steam team. So he was on the mainland catching the Christmas tree for the party. Well, yes, he is from when I was told by your controller. Ugh, who are you? For the love of God, turn off that headlight. The name's Shay. I'm here to work for your railroad. Indeed. Thomas is just probably at Vickerstown Station, just resting in for safety reasons. Uh, I hope so, sir. Are you serious, Jinty? Yes, I haven't seen Thomas come back from the mainland since yesterday. I just got a message from my cousin. They're going to wait out the storm until it goes through. But what about Thomas, sir? I'll ask the mainland to send a search party to find Thomas. But until then, I will assign Ryan and Shay to work on the branch line. Yes, sir. What's going on with Percy? I have no idea. That lazy little saddle tank has been moping up and down the branch line all day. It's all because of his best friend's gone missing. I feel bad for Percy. I mean, losing your best friend? It's gotta be hard on him. I mean, they've worked together since the day Thomas got his branch on. I think. You know, we should help the mainland search party in finding Thomas. I mean, they're the mainland. I don't trust them doing a proper job anyways. You mean... Really? You guys will help find Thomas? Fuck me, Not me. I'm not going over on the mainland. Fine. Everyone but Daisy will be going to find Thomas. Who's gonna help me on the branch line? Oh, I think Mr. Melvin can send Diesel, Ari, and Bert to help. You won't be seeing me working with 08. I can, will come with you if I have- Just no problem. Our snowplows might not be able to break through the snow. We would need- The mainland? Are you sure you want me to go with you guys to all the places on the mainland? For the love of- Yes! I need you to go with us. Now get that big fat rotary thingy and join us. Dustin, trying not to get on Daisy's nerves, agreed to join the Farquhar rescue team on their quest to find Thomas and the Christmas tree. Meanwhile, on the mainland, outside of Barrow and Furnace, was a small blue tank engine buried in six feet of snow without no one noticing he was there. Oh botheration, Scotsman refuses to celebrate Christmas with us. I mean, really, if I was him, I'd be spending Christmas with my friend. That must be another engine. <laughs> <laughs> help! Help! What was that? Ah, oh, heck no, I am not helping that thing out. That right there is the cursed invention. That over wasn't joking. Goodbye. Wait, wait! Oh, great. Percy, Dustin, Mavis, Shay, Ryan and Toby made it to a station called St Pancras, where they saw a familiar face. Robert! Hello, Percy. What are you and your friends doing here? Yeah, we're looking for a blue E2 tank engine here. Oh, Thomas! Yeah, have you seen him? No, unfortunately. Crud. Maybe that green engine might know where Thomas is. Excuse me, mister! I beg your pardon? 
I'm not a male. I'm a female. Whoops. Sorry about that, Miss... Duchess. Duchess of Sutherland. Now, what do you want from me? Whoa. Easy now, your grace. We're just looking for our friend. A blue tank engine with the number one on it. Yeah, I haven't heard let alone seen him. Then again, all I've seen was my sister, Hamilton, screaming like a little girl at the top of her boiler. All she said was that um, there was an abominable snow engine on the loose. There was, dear sis. Oh, see, this is exactly why City of London left us both. Because you couldn't grow up. Don't you blame me on London scrapping. It's your fault. While the two engines were talking, the rescue team realized something. Um, excuse me, your graces. What did you say you s saw this so-called abominable snow engine? Milepost 012. That's just outside of Barrow and Furness. So Percy and the crew arrived at the location Duchess of Hamilton had given them. And sure enough, they found... Thomas! <laughs> Percy, thank goodness you found me. Don't worry, Thomas. We'll get you out of here. But how? We pull about. Let's keep clear path in front of Thomas. And everyone else can pull Thomas out. So Dustin cleared a path to the back of Thomas, and the team coupled up, ready to pull him out. Ready, set, pull. Come on, Shay, put your non-existent wheels to it. Okay, first off, I do have wheels, and secondly, I am. With one more pull, Percy, Daisy, Mavis, Toby, Shay, and Ryan managed to bring Thomas and the Christmas tree free from the snow. Now let's get you home to Sodor. When Thomas and his friends got back to Sodor, Mr. Melvin was relieved to see them safe and sound. Thank goodness you're okay, Thomas. Thank you, Percy, Toby, Ryan, Daisy, Mavis, Dustin, and Shay for bringing the Christmas tree and Thomas Home safe and sound. As soon as the Christmas tree was up and the lights were shining, the party began with loads of carolers singing We Wish You a Merry Christmas while the kids sat on Santa's lap. Thank you all for saving me. No problem, Thomas. We had to save the number one engine and most important one of all in our branch line. <laughs> Say whatever happened to my driver and fireman. I could have sworn we left Thomas here. Well, here, Phil. Don't you feel me? Don't you see that we we're gonna be in big trouble if we tell Mr. Melvin that we lost his number one engine? Yo, oh, you mean you're telling him? I'm not. I don't know what you're saying, but this was your idea to put him into the siding. We could have waited at Baron Furness if we had to. Oh, you mean you're going to tell him? I'm not doing anything. Well, John, can you explain to me why I'm at the Scarlowy Railway Cafe? Like, we could have done this in my office, for goodness sakes. Well, I know that you could have done this in your office, but I have big news about the Railway Museum. Well, go on then. Well, I plan to open up a Big Four Railway Company expedition. Let me guess, you want me to send uh, Thomas, Gordon, Don Douglas, and I believe Duck? to the Railway Museum for your expedition? What? No, 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 no. I need you to ask the controllers from these four railway companies to lend me their engines. Are you kidding me? This will spark a madhouse with the other engines. Please, please, Mr. Melvin, I will do anything. <sighs> I'm gonna regret
regret doing this, but consider it done. Have them come over on our railway. 